The behind closed doors nature of video game development certainly makes it far easier for developers to toy with player expectations. But in an era where leaks are common and fans will scrub through gameplay footage frame by frame searching for clues, developers have had to be extra careful about keeping the cat in the bag. And so marketing teams will often resort to a dual layer deception in order to stop players from figuring out the truth before the game is actually in their hands. Consequently, though many think they've already figured out these nine hugely anticipated upcoming games, they're more likely just falling into the intended trap. Of course, nothing's for certain until we're playing the games for ourselves, but the following titles might be double bluffing us. We're just basing this on educated guesses and a few leaks, but if you don't want to know anything about the following games, then consider this a potential spoiler warning. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are nine upcoming video games that are tricking you, but not how you think. Number 9. Captain Marvel will make a surprise appearance, not Spider-Man, Marvel's Avengers. Despite being due for release in just a few short months, Square Enix's long gestating Avengers game has still left fans debating the exact number of superheroes they'll ultimately be able to play as. The presence of the Taskmaster as a supporting villain in the game's trailers immediately prompted fans to speculate that they may eventually take control of Spider-Man from Insomniac's 2018 game, in turn confirming that the two games exist within the same continuity. Though developers Crystal Dynamics have stated that the two games are set in separate worlds, this hasn't stopped fans believing that they're actually being duped, and Insomniac Spidey will indeed swing in to Marvel's Avengers. But that said, it's far more likely that the game has another mainline Avenger waiting in the wings altogether, and that hero is probably none other than Carol Danvers herself, Captain Marvel. The game's recently leaked achievement list confirms that the humanoid alien race known as the Kree will make an appearance later in the game. Given that the Kree are inexplicably linked to Captain Marvel, what could make more sense than Carol herself making a late game appearance to help out the Avengers? It certainly makes more sense than Spidey. Number 8. Johnny Silverhand isn't really Johnny. Cyberpunk 2077. Minds were blown worldwide when it was revealed last year that Keanu Reeves was going to be playing the supporting character Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk 2077. Silverhand will essentially function as protagonist V's guide through Night City, serving as a digital ghost of the real Silverhand, a rock star who was missing and presumed dead. CD Projekt Red, however, has been playing their cards close to their chest in regard to the exact nature of Silverhand's role in the game, though the mystery of his existence will reportedly form a major part of the main storyline. Some have speculated that this might be setting up the reveal that Silverhand isn't dead at all, but hiding out somewhere, with the player possibly teaming up with his older real self near the end of the game. But what if Cyberpunk has a different twist in store entirely, and that the ghost isn't really Johnny at all, but a malevolent third party who has hijacked his likeness to their own ends? It would be the perfect twist because Keanu Reeves' voice and appearance are just so damn welcoming to his fans, providing the perfect charismatic veil which a major antagonist could hide themselves behind. Number 7. The title relates to time travel, not open world gameplay. Halo Infinite. Despite being announced in the summer of 2018, Halo Infinite is still shrouded in an immense amount of secrecy, as is all the more peculiar given that it's apparently mere months away from being released. Fans and industry analysts alike have speculated that the game's title is likely a reference to its never-ending nature, in that Infinite will be the first open-world live service entry into the franchise, intended to offer content in perpetuity, much like the Destiny games. Whether or not that turns out to be true, it's been convincingly rumoured that the title is actually more specifically referencing an element of the game's narrative in the title, that being time travel. Numerous apparent leaks have pointed to the possibility of Infinite Story using time travel to allow the player to revisit locations from classic Halo games, in turn effectively making Halo Infinite the Avengers endgame of the series. If the game does incorporate some kind of time loop mechanic where players can jump around in time, it would certainly explain the true utility of the game's title in a neat way. Number 6. The Secret of Link's Glowing Arm The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 Jaws were collectively dropped at last year's E3 when Nintendo revealed the first teaser trailer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Zelda's prominent role in the trailer prompted many fans to consider the possibility of the campaign featuring either co-op functionality or an expanded role for the character. This was compounded by a blinking you'll miss it glimpse of Link's arm being consumed by a glowing green force, which some fans surmised may debilitate Link in some way, which which requires players
place to take over, even if only temporarily, as Zelda. But this is likely a bit of an intentional bait and switch on Nintendo's part, who want to distract players from the more probable truth that the glow will in fact be imbuing Link with a new ability altogether. The sleuths at Polygon discovered scrapped concept art from Breath of the Wild, where one of Link's arms was missing and turned into an interchangeable appendage, which could become a bow, a lasso, a hammer, and various other weapons and items. As such, it's not a huge leap to consider that Nintendo decided to include this idea in their sequel. And so, this could either be Link's arm transforming for the very first time, or Link simply receiving a nifty upgrade for his new appendage. Between this and Nintendo's hilariously non-committal stance on both co-op and a playable Zelda, it's the far more likely of the explanations for the glowing arm. Number 5. Chris Redfield isn't the main villain. Resident Evil 8. It's one of the gaming industry's worst kept secrets that Resident Evil 8 is in a deep stage of development, and likely due for release next year. If rumours can be believed, the game is tentatively titled Resident Evil 8 Village, and will take place in a remote, you guessed it, European village, with returning protagonist Ethan Winters fending off both hallucinations and a nemesis-like recurring antagonist taking the guise of a witch. But the most startling revelation, if true, is that Chris Redfield of all people will serve as the game's primary antagonist, even being featured in flashbacks breaking into Ethan's home and taking shots at his family. Yet this just feels like a step to revision even for Capcom, and we're instead betting that this is a misdirect, with Chris being introduced as an initial antagonist, only to reveal his true heroic colours later in the game. Given that RE8 will reportedly serve as a mix of new and old Resident Evil, what better way then to bridge the two styles than by reintroducing the franchise's fan favourite antagonist, Albert Wesker. Considering that Wesker was killed way back in Resi 5, it'd certainly be a crowd-pleasing twist to reveal a redesigned version of the character midway through this game, in turn forcing Chris back under the side of good. Number 4. Miles is playable, but only in small sections. Spider-Man 2. The tail end of Insomniac Spider-Man sees Miles Morales and Peter Parker revealing their superpowers to one another, clearly suggesting that Miles will also take up the mantle of Spider-Man in the inevitable sequel. Many players even took this to suggest the possibility of Spider-Man 2 allowing co-op play between Peter and Miles, which admittedly is an awesome idea. But if recent rumours are to be believed, Spider-Man 2 will sadly only be a single player adventure, and much like the first game, players will just occasionally be given the chance to play as other characters. Reports state that Miles will only be playable intermittently, and it's still being determined whether or not players will be given the chance to free roam New York City as this iteration of Spidey. Number 3. Aerith will still die, but differently. Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 Final Fantasy VII Remake was an admirably clever reimagining of the original RPG masterpiece, even if its ending proved undeniably controversial with fans. The climax of the game sees Cloud and Core literally defying destiny and forging an uncertain future for themselves, with the implication being that the next two games in the series may deviate significantly from the narrative of this original game. In particular though, this has left fans debating the possibility that Aerith's iconic death will be prevented. And as fan serving as this would be, Square Enix is very intentionally trying to steer fans into this direction so that they can deliver a reworked Aerith death scene which still shocks fans both new and old. Though Aerith almost certainly won't die in the exact same circumstances that she did in the original Final Fantasy VII, this is likely only in the service of her being killed at a different juncture, whether by Sephiroth or another character, or perhaps even by her own hand in an act of sacrifice. It would certainly be a smart way to keep players on their toes, but still doing justice to the original story, rather than simply conceding to the most sentimental quarters of the fanbase and fully undoing Aerith's death. Number 2. It isn't a Black Ops game. Call of Duty 2020. It's already been confirmed that the next Call of Duty game will be developed by Treyarch, whose last four entries into the series have all been part of the Black Ops brand. But recent rumours indicate that instead of working on a fifth Black Ops, the new game will instead be a reboot not unlike last year's Modern Warfare reset. However, if former Kotaku scribe Jason Schreier can be believed, and he usually can, this is actually a smokescreen entirely, and Treyarch will in fact be imminently unveiling a new game 
game called Call of Duty Vietnam. Though Schreier stressed that the title isn't set in stone, he added that he hasn't heard anything about a Black Ops reboot, and suggested that the next game is an entirely new branding adventure. Given how obvious it seems that the next game would be a Black Ops title, whether a sequel or reboot, Call of Duty Vietnam would most certainly be a left field surprise. Number one, the modern day plot gets a renewed focus, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The recent announcement of the Norse themed Assassin's Creed Valhalla suggests that the franchise is taking another wide step away from its origins, adopting a style and tone which many have compared to 2018's brilliant God of War. This is consistent with the more recent games as well in the series, which have pushed Assassin's Creed modern day storyline into the periphery while turning towards more in-depth RPG style gameplay that has its feet planted almost entirely in the past. In turn, this seems to imply that the contemporary subplot will be even less of a fixture in Valhalla. Well, that's the thought anyway, but a leaked achievements list for the upcoming game appears to indicate otherwise, with missions being referred to as sequences, a terminology which was absent from the two prior games, Origins and Odyssey. This may then confirm a renewed focus on the modern day genetic memory plot of the earlier games, no matter how much Valhalla otherwise looks like a far cry from the series' origins. So that's our list, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think these games are trying to pull the wool over our eyes with misleading trailers and leaks, or do you think that they're as straightforward as they seem? Either way, while you're down there, can you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't know, I've been Josh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.